this will be a series of videos on how to unwrap, you know, hard surface objects like this. This is an AI uh, design generated um, guitar amplifier tube amp, and I've gone and replicated something, you know, from it that looks kind of cool. So we're going to work on that. I want to start with the cabinet itself. These are generally made out of plywood or press board uh, and then covered in then some sort of vinyl or material um, to make them look cool or, you know, just to be able to protect the outside. Obviously, they're wrapped and then we need to be able to uh, wrap this. Now, something to note, whenever I get models, especially from others, or if you happen to download them, there's always errors and problems with them and they really need to be cleaned up. Now, I generated this and I've actually left some errors in here in my haste and we're going to clean those things up. I'm just going to isolate with Alt-Q and check it and inspect it before we actually go ahead. And right off the bat, you can see there's some problems. This front edge has been chamfered, but this edge and these edges have not. This corner up here has been chamfered and it shouldn't be. If we take a look at the stack. What I have is selections being passed up the stack. So uh, to be able to get different um, chamfers going on. So I want tight, small chamfers here, large ones on the outside. So I've selected these edges, left the sub object on. Chamfer then is taking care of those large ones. Just turn off show end result again. Go to the next poly select and you can see that I don't want that one selected but I want these all the way around the outside selected. And then if we go and take a look at the other side, it looks clean. I want both of those edges kind of, kind of wraps up and over. We don't see this one uh, with thickness per se. So this next chamfer has got a smaller setting to it. We want to inspect that and make sure it's right. Looks like I missed that one again somehow. I'm just going to go back to here. Oops turn that one off again, or maybe I didn't do it, um, so that we don't have that uh, chamfering those corners. We didn't want that. And there you go, we've got what we're looking for. Now, uh, the shell isn't affected by selections, so the shell is then shelling out this model. Now, right now, it's set pretty small, and I'm actually gonna increase that because it's gonna be a little hard to work with. There's almost no thickness going on here. So I'm gonna take this up to maybe a value. Let's see what a value of one does. That should be pretty cool. It gives us a little bit of thickness there. Um, you know, we won't get two sides kind of too close together in the renders as well. Uh, so that looks pretty good. Now to unwrap this, right now I've got an inside and an outside, and I'm too lazy to go and do both like this. Um, so uh, one of the things I did by mistake on this is I must have changed the edge mapping to copy, and there looks like there's some problems with copy and unwrapping. So I'm going to go back to uh, turn on interpolate. So I'm going to go back to interpolate this. Now what do the UVs currently look like on here? One of the things I always generate is a, a simple uh, checkerboard pattern. I know you can turn it on in the unwrap modifier, but I like to have it on there kind of permanently uh, to be able to use it. So we're just going to make a really quick physical material. And out of the uh, base map, I'm going to go to OSL, Textures, Checker Pattern. And then I just make my own uh, quick checker pattern out of this. I, I prefer it being a little bit of a grayscale in there. And I like the checker pattern pretty small, 0 0.01, for instance. And I'm just going to uh, select a shader here and press A to apply it so that we can see that. Now, you'll also notice it's overly shiny. So let's get the roughness up to a value of 1. And you'll see that we've got stretching uh, checker patterns and whatnot. It's not very well unwrapped for us. So M, just to close that to material back down again and we're going to unwrap before so we're going to go to the chamfer now because we're passing edge selections up it's not going to affect the unwrap but it's possible if it was a polygon selection being passed up it would affect the unwrap so if that's the case what you can do is you can use something like the selection modifiers and say let's put a poly select in there and you'll see now that it's terminating the selection going further than that i'm going to go and drop an unwrap in there um, I, uh, I typed in uh, X, I hit X just to bring out the search, uh, and we'll drop that in. You'll see that it has seams all over it. Now, I happen to be an owner of Tube Amp right behind me, nice PV, um, and uh, this isn't how it is actually split up. They tend to wrap the top wrap up and over the top and underneath the bottom to these parts here, then up around the corners. So we want to get rid of all of these seams that are on here. Now we're in polygon mode. I'm going to go Control-A and just pick everything. 
And we're going down to quick planar map. And you notice all the little green lines go uh, go away. And those are the seams. Those are all the islands that, that were there. We obviously have these ones here because there's no thickness at this point in the stack, right? There's no inside. So we're going to see those seams because they're the edges of the polygons uh, that come up. Over to um, uh, edge mode, which is two. And I'm going to go ahead and just break this up. So I have the selections there where I want the wrap to be able to uh, go to where the seams might be, okay? And I'm gonna open up the uh, UV editor. And in here, we wanna break all those. So what you'll see now is green lines on all of those. So that's actually uh, giving us those green lines all the way around where the breaks are. With that done, I can simply step over to uh, polygon mode or three on the keyboard. And I can go ahead and do a quick peel on it and I will have peeled those pieces. Now I would always turn on rotate when you do that and it'll pack them much squarer, okay? Which is a, you know, a better idea. Uh, so there are all those. So if we look at the checkerboard pattern now, it should be very square, okay? It should be very clean and it should be lined up because it makes sense, okay? Um, that works, you know, pretty good. Now above shell, so when we go up to shell with the interpolate mode, remember, uh, is the best way to do it. I'm going to go and unwrap again because what we want to do is be able to paint the inside of the box black, okay? And it's sort of, you know, it's basically just the, the wood that's been painted on the inside. The wrap is only on the outside. So if we take a look, you can still see the seams. This is where the copy actually was causing me problems. It wasn't showing the seams and it wasn't allowing me to continue uh, unwrapping very well. It was, it was a bit of an issue. So I've, I've you know, uh, reported that. Hopefully it gets corrected. Now, if we look at what the unwrap looks like here and we go back to polygon mode and we turn on select by element you should actually see that there are inside and outside pieces at play here so it's already broken up for us because those uh, edges have been uh, broken by the uh, shell so we've got this inside and outside so really all I need to do here is either just do a quick peel and again have nothing selected and go about doing it turn on rotate though um, and it, it'll rotate and pack them and then it'll pack them into place and we'll have the uh, you know, the, the, the pieces all identified and broken down into nice square pieces. Now we've got a lot of room left over. There's lots of chunks and bits and pieces. And there are other elements in this, uh, you know, uh, cabinet. You know, if I uh, go Alt-Q again and show it, there's a lot of other pieces I could probably fit into other areas here and be able to use up the pixels. We don't want to waste pixels in our texture maps. They would have to load into memory, yet they're never going to be seen in areas like this. So why not try and pack other elements in? So we'll do that next as we break down some other pieces.